guys it's me Delaine the girl from NYC I'm going to be doing a highly requested video today and I probably will have to do part two and part three at a later date because if it gets too long I'll just cut the video and pick it up another time so several of you have requested information about the black patent leather Louboutins that I wear in my pictures on Instagram all the time so I'm just gonna dive right in here's the box and the dust bag and you know sometimes it has a drawstring by the way so you know sometimes these shoes will come with one or two dust bags it depends on where you order your shoes well these came from net porte and i had searched for these shoes for so long because i had done some research on youtube and i was trying to find the most comfortable pair of black patent leather louboutins and i'm not interested in just buying shoes and putting them in my closet and then not being able to use them so i did a lot of research before i made this purchase so here are the shoes these are the regular pigals and i think this is the original shoe here's the other side and the bottom now i've had several of these shoes and um one of them i took to the shoe repair store and i had them put the red lining protector on it and then I ended up selling those shoes but these I have not done that I actually really like the way this looks some people do and some people don't it's a personal preference and I don't know if I'm getting to the point where I want to have them covered but for right now it's like it's one of those things you know you order Louboutins and you know that the the draw is or one of the draws to the shoe is the red finish on the bottom but it's also so cute to have this look as well i know it's such a waste i guess but hey whatever anyway so i took notes because i just wanted to make sure i didn't miss anything in this first video so point number one i ordered these shoes in my true size i'm a size eight and a half and i did not size up i know a lot of times people will say size up half a size or whole size i did not size up in this shoe after watching the videos everyone said that the patent leather will stretch over time and if you start off with a shoe that's already loose it's just going to become worse so when i first got these shoes i couldn't even put my foot in them that's i guess i guess snug is a good word but mine were tight um my heel probably just went in about halfway i literally couldn't get the shoes on and to be honest with you my left foot is smaller than my right foot so it fit the left foot so much better than the right foot and the right foot just it wouldn't budge so i walked in these shoes on the carpet for about a week before I decided to wear them but I did several things to stretch them out and that's what I'll include in the second video about how to stretch out your Louboutins so again you want to order this shoe in your true size now I didn't have a Nordstrom right in my town I had to drive about an hour and 15 minutes to try them on and I didn't even try on this shoe. I tried on a different shoe and that one was also true to size and it fit really well. So what I did was I ordered the Simple Pump in the 85 millimeter and I had that shipped to me and that was not patent leather. It was just regular leather and I loved that shoe. I wanted a pointed front shoe in patent leather and the Simple Pump that I had ordered, it was a rounded front and it wasn't patent and I really, I couldn't decide but I think I'm probably gonna end up ordering the simple pump anyway because it that was a really nice shoe anyway so point number one order in your size don't size down don't size up okay and now if you get your regular size and it's so tight that you can 
like hard you can't hardly stand it then you might want to try it but if you have the opportunity to try on the shoe in the store i would suggest doing that again i ordered this pair and the simple pump and tried on both and then i decided to go with the patent leather okay point number two in the pigal the toe box is a little bit bigger so it covers more of the foot the one shoe that i had before that i ended up also selling because it was a little bit too big on me those were pigal foley's and they were the um they were the leopard shoe it was a black shoe with a leopard print on the front you may have seen those on my instagram page or on the blog those were such gorgeous shoes and they were in the 100 millimeter they weren't uncomfortable it's just that they were a little bit too big so as I was walking I was trying to hold them on my feet sometimes and that's really uncomfortable so I decided to put them up for sale and the difference between the Pigal Foley's and the Pigal's is that in the Pigal Foley's you see more of the toe cleavage whereas this one it covers your toes a little bit more but not all the way so that's the other thing about these shoes and I think some people what they say is they feel more secure in the regular pigals because it's holding in more of your foot it feels more comfortable but like I said I've worn both and they both feel fine the Foley's were a little bit too big and is just uncomfortable point number three is that this one has like less of a high slope of the heel so they're really comfortable to walk in and the heel is not as skinny on the regular pigals as they are on the foley's now again that's just a personal preference to me i really don't care how skinny the heel is like I like the shoe a lot so that's why I ordered this shoe and I probably will get a pair of Foley's next but I have no problem with this one okay so because if you see I don't know if you can see but like it it slopes up and then it kind of like plateaus so it kind of it gives you more support and that's one of the things that I was looking for when I got the shoe and that's one thing I heard in the videos i was watching they were talking about the slope of the pigals and the slope of the foley's so the pigals they have more of a plateau and it gives you more comfort and you're able to walk in them better and in the foley's there's a steeper slope and it's probably less comfortable for you to walk in the next point is i bought these in the 85 millimeter again as i said earlier in the video i have no desire to buy these shoes for the amount of money i spent on them to not be able to wear them i want the look but i don't believe in wasting money and buying a pair of shoes just to say you have the shoes like that doesn't cut it for me like if i'm gonna buy them i'm wearing them okay now i do think the 100 millimeter is also fine it's just again in the 100 millimeters the other two pairs that i had that were 100 millimeters they were both a little bit too big and i think that's what made it uncomfortable it wasn't the height of the heel because i never felt uncomfortable wearing them it was just trying to walk and trying to hold them on your feet at the same time it just wasn't working for me so i bought these in the 85 millimeter and you still see it when you're when you're wearing these shoes because they want to see the red bottoms or i guess the red underneath because you can't really see the bottom when you're stepping on them but they want to see the red underneath when they're wearing the shoes but you can still see them in the 85 it's not you know something that if you buy them you're gonna be is they're not flat so now if you get the plateau version of any of these shoes if you get them in the 100 because they have that platform they have a platform under the toes if you get those in 100 they're actually 85 so those 
from what I understand and that's what I, that's what I tried on in Neiman Marcus a few months ago those feel just like these okay the next thing is I can wear these probably I want to say all day long like they are so comfortable every time people see me wearing they always ask me oh my goodness how do you wear those shoes They're, they look so uncomfortable or I've heard that they're uncomfortable or I know people that have them and they say that they're uncomfortable I have not had any issues with these shoes in the beginning they were really uncomfortable because of what I had to do to stretch them out so the first few times I wore them my feet they were they killed my feet and I luckily I was able to just wear them to church and then come back home and take them off and sing my feet a song and tell them that I love them but anyway um, so the first few times they hurt I won't even pretend it's I won't even make up any stories but the first few times I wore them like they hurt so badly now I find myself reaching for these all the time because you know, I was always under the impression that if I bought them I'd only wear them and be able to stand in them for five or ten minutes and then rush home and take them off but I can wear these for hours one thing I love about these shoes and one of the reasons why I think I probably wouldn't buy them used unless they were used and never worn or worn maybe once or twice is because if you look at the toe box the shoe actually takes on the form of your feet so me buying them used from someone else if they've worn them seven eight nine ten times i don't think i would ever do that because those shoes are going to conform to that person's feet and i'm not going to spend even you know for a, a deal two three four hundred dollars for a pair of shoes that have been conformed to someone else's feet and then when I put them on, they don't work for mine. But these literally look just like my my toes. Like you can see the shape of my toes. And that's how you want it to fit. So again, definitely I would recommend the regular Pigals. I think this is the shoe the founder of the company said that every woman should own the Pigal. And this is the regular Pigal. Again, I do recommend the Foley's, but I'll save that information for another video. But in the meantime, definitely check out the regular Pigals, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Just keep that in mind. You know, the fit is true to size. The patent leather will stretch. You want, when you first purchase them, you want them to be snug. You don't want them to be so tight you can't put them on, but you wanna be able to get your feet in them even if they're a little tight. Um, and you don't want them to be falling off when you first put them on because if you start off with bigger shoes They're they're not going to work for you later on So if you have any other questions or if you have any requests for videos, please leave a comment Please like share and subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye